Okay, you're probably watching this video because your suspension bolt won't come out. You can only take one side out at a time and then the other one just spins because there's a floating shaft in there and it seems impossible. Um, it's not impossible luckily, but some suspensions are really tough. So you don't need any special tools, just your socket set and a crescent wrench, um, a drill driver or impact wrench could really help. Um, and using this method, we're not going to leave any lubricant in the threads so that the bolt falls out later. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you found this helpful. All right, here we go. So this is going to apply to almost any suspension out there on a snowmobile, but we're showing a Ski-Doo XM. So first thing you want to do is just loosen up the axle bolt. Just loosen it. Don't take it off. And then loosen these tensioner bolts to allow the axle to just come all the way back. When I do this first side, I'm kind of feeling in there so I know when the bolt's backed all the way off without it falling out. Um, and then when you go and switch to the other side, the axle will just be pushed in by the track and you just pretty much take it all the way um, so that the axle will come in as far as it can go and that way it'll leave you enough room to get the suspension out. Okay so now we got all that sag in the track so it's gonna make room for us to pull this out once we get these bolts off um, and optionally you could take off these torsion bars to let the suspension sag a little bit um, and leaves a little bit more room to get it out of the track. So, but just do it carefully like that if you're gonna do this and don't do this where, yeah, it just goes flying. So do it the right way. And then uh, if you are taking off the torsion springs, you know, just go ahead and, and prop these up so they don't get stuck in the track and just kind of stick them up like that. Um, then they'll be out of your way, hopefully. Um, okay, so here we're gonna use a 17 millimeter and uh, I use the impact socket, but here's the hard part. So, you know, one side comes right out. And then what I was told is, well, there's a lot of Loctite in there. So run it in and out a few times, break up the Loctite. Um, and then th <clears throat> when you do that on both sides, it will, uh, it will allow them to come out. But it doesn't. At least I found that these ski XMs were much more difficult than any other old sled that I used to work on, and it just wouldn't come out. And you can see there it is spinning. So here comes the solution, and that is a stack of washers. And this way what we can do is we engage the threads, but only a few threads, just enough so that it, it will actually seat in there and not strip. But And so you see you got to kind of play with it to get the right amount of threads to engage. But that way it will seat, but it will only have a few turns. And then when you go and take out the other side, it will come out. So see, I tightened that up decently um, and then went to the other side and boom, it pops right out. And then since this side is only engaged with just a few threads, just enough to hold it in there, uh, when you come back, boom, it's just gonna pop right out and your suspension is out, just like that. So that was easy. Um, something that can go wrong is you go take out the bolt in the front of the suspension and the shaft falls out of place. Um, people struggle with this, but you just have to push it around. And sometimes that might mean you've got to prop up the track or just kind of twist it or push it and pull it to get it in position, but you'll be able to get it back in there. Um, and then it's just the same trick on the other side. I go and put in the stack of washers and it may or may not be the exact same stack. In the ski -Doo, the shaft and the spacers are really the same um, in the front and back as far as I can tell, but um, it's just not always the same in every sled and the, the side of the tunnel might have different thickness than the drop bracket. So just pay attention to that. Make sure you're engaging just enough thread so it'll stick and allow you to get the other side off. And then again, once you've gotten that other side off, this one's going to come right out because it's not being held in there by much anymore. And uh, then just push that suspension forward to the front and it comes right out. And then you see our shaft fell out there and there's one on the front and the back and I would grease that up before putting it back in. And that's it. And if you like this video, you can help my friend Chuck here get some more dog food by liking and subscribing to my channel and maybe we'll make some more videos with you.